Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Toronto Maple Leafs Be a GM. Uh, when we left you off, we just finished uh, getting the rosters ready for the season, getting the lineups ready, all set, scouting, etc., etc., etc. So we're pretty much ready to go. Before we start, I just wanted to mention to make sure that you guys vote on the Be a GM vote for NHL 14. The second round of voting is now open. Uh, that round of voting actually finishes up at the on the 28th at midnight, so make sure you get on that as soon as possible, okay, guys? Um, don't want to miss out on all the fun and uh, and festivities. Yes, the festivities. Anyway, so I don't think I have anything else to say. Oh, yes, no, that's it. Okay, so let's get past the through the first round or through the what is this stupid thing? Hacking for Klesla decline. Let's get through the. Oh my god. Volchenko for hacking. No. I may have to change this. We gotta get through the preseason. That's what I wanna do. It's the preseason. I may be stopping this before we get into it with all the trades. This happened last year, too. Alright, so we got Buffalo first. Got the Buffalo Sabres as a 2 1 win. No. Barker Bulls? No, I'm thinking not. Boston Bruins. Game two. There's a 6 1 win. Parker Bulls got a goal on that one. Zach Smith decline. I'm going to stop the simulation here because I'm going to keep getting requests and I don't like them. They're driving me crazy. Stop the simulation. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I can probably go trading block right here. There we go. So let's clear, 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 clear. For some reason, Parker Bulls is on a trade block. I have no idea why. Okay. So we'll continue here. We're still 2-0 oh now. We got Montreal. I know. There's another one. 3 nothing. Oh, I keep bumping my mic. 3 nothing win. Or 3-2 win. The, the preseason means nothing. It's It re really means nothing at all. So, I'm really not too worried or concerned either way. We're fine with the salary cap. We only got like $1 million. Oh, we lost one. <laughs> That's okay. Continue. Stop bothering me. Okay. So, go up to the fourth here. The first game of the uh, regular season. Yes, yes. So the cap is probably going to be about $85 million next year. Okay. Before we get into this, I missed a year doing it because of the live stream. That's part of the reason why. And um, we didn't win a Stanley Cup in the live stream. So the next year we couldn't do it. And I totally forgot to throw it in there. But we got to do some banner raising ceremonies, I believe. But the first one we got to get out of the way, it's not the Stanley Cup. It's our President's Trophy banners. We had two President's Trophy banners we got to raise here. So here they are. Here's the th the first ones in sta in uh, Toronto Maple Leaf history. Here's the 2016 President's Trophy. Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta cue that inspirational music. Yeah, there you go. I didn't mix, didn't mess it up this time. So th the 2016 President's Trophy banner for the Tor uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. There you go. Oh, that's so nice. And the 2018 President's Trophy banner, commemorating last year's victory. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, over to the Stanley Cup banner. Is adding to our collection. The 2016 Stanley Cup champion, Toronto Maple Leafs banner. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And the 2018 Stanley Cup banner from last year. Oh my goodness, what a collection, guys. What a collection, those are gorgeous. Okay, thanks, thanks for putting up with that. Let's get, let's get into the games here. We'll simulate up a month. Uh, I'll go to the 2nd of um, October. Oh, 3-2 win right off the bat. Justin Schultz with a goal, Ovechkin with two assists. We got Washington, 4-1 win. Ovechkin's got three goals in two games. Unbelievable. Got Buffalo now. 5-1 win. Ovechkin with six goals. Nathan McKinnon with four assists. Crazy numbers right now. Got Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, and a 5-1 loss. 5-1 loss. That's a big loss to them, but that's okay. We've done really well. We got Philadelphia, who's off to a good start as well. We can beat these guys, though. I believe in us. We got a better team. Yeah, 8 nothing win. Ove Ovechkin's got seven goals. McKinnon with five assists. Here we go, Tampa Bay. They haven't won a game yet. Oh, and their first one, we are the ones to hand it to them. Nugent Hopkins now up there for assists. 4-1 win. Ovechkin's got eight goals. McKinnon with six assists. Back-to-backs against Ottawa and Colorado. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Can win this one. We'll win the next one. 5-2 win. Absolutely beautiful. Parker Bowles up there with assists now. Unbelievable. Parker Bowles. Crazy. Colorado, 3-2 loss. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Ovechkin, the nine goals. McKinnon, eight assists. We're having good production from that top line. Can't ask for much more. Four, one loss. Oh, no. Parker Bowles up there with the assists again. Uh, yeah, let's go scouting assign because something's happening here. Uh, let's go to the WHL. Oops, other way. Let's see. That's a... I got a 
a couple first round players it looks like let's go a month here in the whl again let's see what we can figure out um go to the second we got edmonton they're five two and one right now we can beat them four three win ovechkin with 10 goals in 11 games Good job, Ovechkin. If you can keep putting up these numbers, we'll be in good shape. Parker Bowles looks to have a very breakout season here. Um, poised to do really well. He's basically going to be the replacement for Alexander Ovechkin in the future. And we need him to do well this season. 3-2 win. There you go. Absolutely great. Uh, Nathan McKinnon now with 9 assists. We're getting a lot of assists. Wow, another 4-1 loss. That seems to be the story, though. Every time we lose, it's 4-1, which is not good. Not good for the save percentage or the goals against average. So let's take a look at team standings. Right now, we are currently in third in the East. The Western Conference is very strong. So right now, there's a there's a big gap between the East and the West. East is weak as hell. Um, goals and assists. Ovechkin is not in first with 10, which if you can believe it or not. Sidney Crosby actually has the top spot. We're not up there for assists. Points, Ovechkin is at 17, so he is up there with the best of the best. Uh, nothing going on wrong right now. We don't have any contributors in terms of goals against and save percentage. Williams has not played that great yet, uh, which is incredible because of considering our defense. So what I'm going to do is simulate up to the first here. We'll get through the second month, and then we'll take a look at stats and see exactly how well we're doing. 4-1 um, win against Buffalo. We have done well against Buffalo this year. That's a good thing. Ovechkin now has 12 goals, 2 in that one. We got Ottawa. They're 6-5-3. and three. We can beat them. 5-1 win. Nathan McKinnon now with 13 assists. We got Dallas. They're 3, 9, and 2. Definitely, there you go. Definitely beatable. 2 1, we take them. We got a tour through the Western Conference. So we got Vancouver and then Edmonton again. So it's two times in two weeks for Edmonton. Vancouver, 3 2 win. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Edmonton up next. Edmonton beat us last time, I think, 4 to 1. We'd like to come back and take this one. They're a strong team this year. They're a strong team. Come on, boys. Beat the Oilers. There you go. 2 1 win. So we're winning narrowly, but we are winning. That's a big deal. It doesn't matter. We're getting some depth scoring, though, as you can see, because the leaders haven't changed. Ah, 3 2 loss. That one was in overtime. We got Ottawa, though. Divisional teams, these are important games. Come on, boys. Beat them. F 6 to 4 win. There you go. Ovechkin with his 15th goal. Nathan McKinnon with 17 assists. The, the run keeps going here. We've played 20 games now. Oh, my goodness. Ovechkin with 17 goals in 21 games. If he puts up this rate, he will be scoring over 60 goals this year if he continues to go. Ah, uh, 5-1 loss. That one obviously is in regulation. And that one's to the Carolina Hurricanes again. Tampa Bay, another loss. We will stop right there. Um, forwards in the WHL. Yeah, it looks like he's only a four-star player. So we're not going to worry about there. Uh, defense. Let's see where else we can go. Anywhere else? Let's check defense in the queue. Let's go for a month. Okay. We'll continue the simulation. We'll go up to the second now. See if we can break this little trend that's going on of losing. <laughs> Ovechkin and McKinnon both have 18 goals and 18 assists. Oh my god! Ovechkin had a hat trick. And Nathan McKinnon got one assist in that 9-4 win over the Anaheim Ducks. Okay, we got Phoenix now. They're 10-8-5 currently. 5-3 win. There you go. Nazem Kadri up there for assists now. Look at the, the variety of players leading categories. Every, there's a different player in every spot, which is beautiful. 4-1 win over Calgary. There you go. Good job, guys. McKinnon's up there for assists now. Ovechkin got another two goals. Oh, there you go. Another two goals. Or was that the same? No, no, that was the same. Sorry. Uh, Ottawa now. 11-11-5. and five. This is the last game of the month. And we lost it. What was it? Oh, 3-2. So it was close. Um... This will bring us right to the second. Was that scout assignment? That may have been scout assignment. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? That was probably um, UFA. RFA. I just hit A. So let's take a look at the standings. We are in first in the East, uh, second in the NHL. So that's really good for us. We will close that gap between us and Columbus. Goals. Ovechkin's up there, no doubt. Uh, Nugent Hopkins is actually in sixth place for goals with 13. That's insane. Um... Assist, McKinnon has got 23, so he's tied for first. Finally, we knocked, what's his name off the top? Uh, the hell's his name? Halaschuk. Halaschuk was insane. Um, and then we've also got Kadri up there with 21 assists in third, and Mantha in fifth at 20 assists. Uh, points, we've got uh, four players in the top eight. We've got Ovechkin at number one. We've got Nugent Hopkins at six, Kadri at seven, and McKinnon at eight. So he's only got five goals or something, Nathan McKinnon. Yeah, or four, six goals. Six goals and 23 assists, but he's a, he's a playmaker. That's what he's supposed to do. Uh, let's take a look at the stats then. We'll go to team standings first, and we'll see how we're doing. Uh, so goals four per game were first. Again, we as always, 
Goals against per game were ninth, so that's a very good number. Our power play is in sixth. Our penalty kill is in 23rd. It's always terrible. The penalty kill is difficult to figure out for some reason. I don't know why. We still don't have a shorthanded goal, so that could be better. But we're winning, and that's all that matters. Let's take a look at player stats through our first two months of the season and see exactly how good and how well everybody else is playing. Don't forget, everything dies out kind of as the season goes on, I find. They start off really strong, and then they end up really weak. So points, Ovechkin obviously is our leader at uh, 37 points in 28 games. Nugent Hopkins at 29 points. Same with Kadri and McKinnon. Mantha at 26 points. Uh, looks like Bulls is having a much more human year, but he's almost at a point per game, which is really, really good for him. Not scoring at the same clip as he should be, that's for sure, considering the playmaker he's, he's playing with. Uh, he may pick up the pace later in the year, but 10 goals through 28 games, that's a respectable number for him. Uh, he's probably going to get to about 30 goals this year. I'd be very expect. I'd be very proud if he got to 30 goals. That'd be a good number for him. And then next year, when he gets first line minutes, when Ovechkin uh, heads on out, we will probably have. Um, he'll probably have a much better season. So I'm not going to go much further than those guys. Those are. Uh, you know what? We'll take a look. Stat Central. Why not? Why not? I'll just go down the list really quickly. We're not going to jump in and take a look too closely at how good they're doing and you know they're they're player attributes and what have you, and the reasons for their production, but we'll take a look quickly here. We have a couple rookies that we'd like to find out. Uh, Jones at 19 points, Niederreiter at 14 points. He's got 8 goals and 6 assists, so he is scoring on that depth that depth roll. Riley at 13 points, Schultz at 11, Carlson at 9, Percy at 9, Hawken at 7, King at 5, Bilyeu at 5, Gardner at 4, Smith at 3, and Kapitanov at 2. Kapitanov, it's his first NHL season. I wouldn't expect him to score too much. Uh, he'll do better next year when he jumps up a little bit. So let's go now to the 3rd of January. So we'll go through December here. we got New York Islanders to start here. We can beat them for sure. Come on, guys. There you go. 3-2 win. Alexander Ovechkin scores his 24th goal of the year. Uh, we got Florida now. They're 10, 12, and 3. Oh, a big loss to Florida. Good God. But Ovechkin registers his 25th goal of the season in uh, 30 games. Oh, my goodness. 3-0 win over the Capitals. Uh, Nathan McKinnon leading the way here with 28 assists. Unbelievable production from this top line. We've got Montreal, they're 14-16-1, 6-2 win. Ovechkin scores, so does Mc McKinnon gets an assist in that. That top two duo of McKinnon and Ovechkin, that's an elite, that's an elite combination. That's something you don't really want to change. Unfortunately, we will have to. Parker Bowles is going to have to jump in and take over because $9 million cap hit for no Alexander Ovechkin is just too high. 27th goal of the year. <laughs> But, uh, you know, 27 goals, you cannot argue with that. Ovechkin has won the pres or the Maurice Richard two years in a row. Uh, wow. Nationals 21-8-1. We beat them, though. Is that 6-2 or 6-3? It doesn't much matter. Ovechkin gets his 30th goal of the year. He's still almost at a goal per game rate. 3-1 win over uh, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, scouting assignment here. Looks like I got a top 10 here in Indershev. So let's go to Russia. Let's scout for a month in Russia. Okay, and we will go up to the third again. So he played 35 games. He's got 31 goals. Can he get to 50 and 50? It's definitely something he can do, but he needs to start scoring a lot more. That's for sure. Um, that's not enough. <laughs> that's 36 games, 31 goals. That's insane production. You don't, you can't ask for that. In today's NHL, 50 and 50 is almost impossible. Almost impossible. 4-1 four, four win. Ovechkin gets a couple goals in that one. So... We're at 37 games played, 33 goals. He can still get there, but he needs to start putting up hat trick after hat trick. 4 3 loss. Ah, geez, and he can't do anything about that. Um, Ovechkin's definitely going to get to 50 goals this year. He probably get to 60 goals this year, too. So he might even get to 70 goals this year, depending on how well he does. Uh, Yako Risa Risinen? Let's view his info. Fourth line grinder, 78 overall, 70 or 66 face offs. Decent passing and puck control for a grinder. Even his shot's really good. The thing that brings him down probably is his, his defensive category is not great. Good defensive awareness. Um, discipline's pretty low. Strength is pretty low. I'm just going to say no. We don't need him, really. That was a 7-1 win over Montreal, by the way, after a 4-3 loss. So that's a, that's a big bounce back for us. That's huge. Uh, we got Winnipeg now here. We got Winnipeg. They're, they only got... They're 21, 14, and 5, so they're a respectable number, but they're not nearly as good. There's a 2 0 win. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So that one to, that loss to Montreal was in overtime, so that's pretty good. So we're 29, 8, and 3 through the month of December, about to start January. 
Um, Ovechkin's probably, we're at 61 points. That's second in the NHL. There's a six point gap now between us and Columbus. So that's got to close. Uh, for goals now, Ovechkin has a clear lead. There's a, basically a seven goal lead on top of the Tavares. Uh, we don't have another player up there. McKinnon's up there for assists. So is Mantha. Um, and now we have Ovechkin at 54 points, McKinnon at 47, and we got Nugent Hopkins at 41. Williams, 29 wins. Is he on there at any of these things? No, not really. Just the wins. So still winning, still scoring. We're going to do another month here. Uh, we got the All-Star game in this month, so we're going to go up to the second against Columbus. That's going to be a big game because they're the top team in the NHL right now. New Jersey, 2-0 win over the New Jersey Devils. Uh... 41 games played. Ovechkin's got 33 goals. He's come down to a human pace again. We need to start having him score. Can he kick it into high gear and start scoring for us? Oh, and he gets one right in that one in a 4-3 win over the Islanders, or the, the Rangers, sorry. The Bruins coming up, the Boston Bruins. 24-14-4, 3-2 win. Uh, Ovechkin's did not, Ovechkin did not score in that one, but maybe he can bounce back with a hat trick against the Montreal Canadiens, a weaker team. 4-2 win. He doesn't score again. So Ovechkin's in a bit of a slump right now. Uh, through 44 games. So we need Ovechkin to start scoring now. Come on, Ovechkin. It's not like you don't have the support. Start putting some pucks in the net there, buddy. Don't just slow down on me now. 3-2 win. There you go. Ovechkin scores, too. When Ovechkin scores, we usually win. We usually win when Ovechkin scores, but we don't usually lose anyway. So, oh, six, I just said it. Anyway, we lost, but that one was in overtime. That's okay. That is okay. Uh, scout assignment. We were in Russia. So let's take a look at forwards in Russia really quick and see how good they are. There's a top 10 player in Getzlaff. Uh, Russia, top 10, that's not really good enough. Let's go to the United States for a month. This Getzlaff looks like another R Getzlaff in the system. Uh, Columbus, there we go. We got Washington. We've done really well against them this so, so far this year. 4-2 win over the Washington Capitals. Ovechkin did score in that one. He does well against his old team, that's for sure. Buffalo. They, we've always had problems with Buffalo, but we beat them in that one. 1-0 one win. Thank you, Williams, for shutting the door. Finally doing something. All right, we got Montreal, 19-28-3 right now. 5-2 loss to Montreal. Oh, my God. I hate those divisional games. It's so pointless. Your team could be insanely good, but you still lose because you're playing a divisional team. Like, get out of here. It's so ridiculous. 3-2 win over to the Philadelphia Flyers. Ovechkin at 39 goals. McKinnon's at 44 assists. Um, that's nuts. <laughs> that's basically almost an assist per game for McKinnon. He's a little bit less than... But if he could get to like 70 assists this year, maybe even 75 assists, McKinnon will be in like an elite category, the Joe Thornton category. Uh, let's take a look and see who's in there. I'm guaranteeing both those players are. Uh, Ovechkin's up there. Wow. How is... How is he not in here? How is McKinnon not in the, the friggin' all-star game? Uh, defensive pairing, Morgan Riley's up there. That's probably it. Ryan Murphy's in there. I don't know how that's possible over some of our players. Uh, goaltending Williams is top there over Rask. So I'm going to, I'll sim the game. I'll sim it and see exactly how good, see if any of our players produce. Because we've got Ovechkin. He might score. Doesn't score there. Two for Giroux. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one the final. So Eric Williams gets the win in that one. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. 9-6-7 save percentage. All right, so we'll finish the month here. And then we'll take a look at player stats more in depth. See if everybody's still producing at the same rate. Probably not. There's always a decline. Oh, another win against the Capitals. We always beat the Capitals. It's not even a question. I'd love to face them in the playoffs. Got Chicago. They've been terrible. We took away their top player. 2-1 win. Holy crap. So we just made some good uh, uh, some good progress here. Almost a 40 wins through the beginning of uh, February. So Columbus at 78 points. We are at 82 points. So we have the lead in the league by four points for the President's Trophy right now. Ovechkin is up there for goals, but the gap has closed, as you can see. Stamkos has 33. So the gap has closed. Uh, for assists, it looks like, yeah, McKinnon's still number one. Kadri's at 34. Points, we only have Ovechkin and McKinnon now up there in the top eight. So uh, Nugent Hopkins dropped off. And uh, looks like Williams is up there for goals against, finally, but not up there for save percentage. So let's look at uh, Stat Central. We'll look at player stats, NHL. We'll see how everybody's doing. We'll do this one and then we'll do team standings. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at the penalty kill and we'll see if we can add some depth players to the penalty kill instead of our top players. Uh, Ovechkin, 62 points in 52 games. 
Nathan McKinnon, 54 points in 52 games. These two players on the second line, almost at a point per game. Bulls at 44. He's got 21 goals and 23 assists. I said he could get to 30. That's still very much doable number. Very much doable. Uh, Mantha at 44 points. A top line player not quite producing. Definitely not his year this year. He had 89 points last year. It looks like the most he's probably going to get is 70 if he's lucky. Uh, Riley at 26 points. How is that compared to his other ones? That's pretty good. Not bad. Not as good as uh, that 48.1. Uh, Niederreiter at 25 points, it's probably, yeah, you know what, he had 60 points last year in his first NHL season, basically, so, um, that's probably not his first NHL season, but first in here. Uh, William Carlson, 23 points in his first NHL season. How is Hacken doing? 16 points there, not great, definitely not as good as la the last two years where he put up 30 points in each one. Um, Percy, 15 points. I tried to give him some some players that helped boost. Kapitanov at six points now. He's got five goals. Uh, Zach Smith. So those three players playing the fourth line are down in the dumps. And they're minuses. They're the only players that are minuses on our team. Oh, and Nathan Bilyeu. That's it. Uh, but the top pairing. Look at that. Plus 30, plus 30, plus 28. We're probably leading the league in that, I'd imagine. Um, let's go to team standings quickly here. And then we can get another month going. we still got tons of time in this video. Uh, goals four per game, number one. Goals against per game, number five. Uh, power play percentage, we're 11, so we did drop quite a bit on that one. And the penalty kill, we're 11. So that's good. We're both in the top top uh, grouping there, so I don't think I'm going to change anything again. I feel like this team is still rocking it. There's not much that needs to be done, so we're going to do another month. Look at this week. Holy, five games in seven days. Uh, let's go up to here. Oh, hold on. Sorry, up to here. This is the first. So Columbus first. Here's the other top leading team. we got to beat these guys. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, 2 nothing loss. Come on, boys. Those are important games. Vancouver now. They're 23, 24, and 5. We can beat them. They are a 4-1 win. Ovechkin with his 40th goal. McKinnon puts up his 45th assist. Wow. Carolina. They've had our number all year. Oh, my God. 7 nothing win. Ovechkin with two goals. McKinnon with three assists. Okay, we got back-to-backs against Florida and New York. Ah, oh, 3-2 loss. Wasn't in overtime. It was in regulation. Got Islanders now. You can beat the Islanders. Tavares is challenging for... There you go. A 2-0 win. Unbelievable. We got the New York Rangers up next. Come on. You can beat the Rangers. Ah, oh, 5-2 loss. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's scout assignment. United States. It looks like there's some good players here. Um, oh, Let's see. Forwards. And... Oh, there's a... Is there, there's another one here in SM Liga. Uh, no, oh, there's a four and a half star player at a beach in, uh, the WHL, OHL, Q, and, oh, Getzlaff is three and a half star. What, I wish you could tell what kind of player type he is, at uh, Adrian Beach, if he's a power forward, he looks like a playmaker, though, at six feet, one, uh, 188, left wing, he looks like a, a playmaker, uh, any good goalies, because I know eventually you do get, like, four and a, or five star goalies, Bogosian, Let's scout, uh, let's scout the queue. Let's go for three weeks. Let's take a look at Reve. Uh, we'll finish this month now. We'll probably have to scout again in this month now because I said it at three weeks, which is kind of a pain, but hey, whatever. All right, so we got Ottawa. We can beat these guys. Come on. Five, another 5-2 five loss? What are you guys doing? Come on, wake it up. Wake up. Let's go. You need to beat the Flyers. Otherwise, I'm stopping the simulation. Come on. There you go. 7-0 win. Thank you. I wish that it wasn't so, you know, if your team's better, it doesn't matter if you're divisional rivals. The Oilers didn't beat the Flames for a long time. They didn't beat, you know, the Vancouver Canucks for a long time. It took skilled players to actually beat them, not luck. Oh, my God. Divisional teams, for God's sake. EA, quit screwing around with this shit. Just let it sim. Divisional, 2-1. Okay, thank you. Jesus. By one goal, well, one goal, though. That's the thing. You got all these elite scorers, and you only win by one goal. All right, here's the tough week. Winnipeg first, 4-3 win. Carolina, 4-2 loss. Okay, so we split that. All right, now we got two games left in this month. We got New Jersey and New York, 3-2 loss. Come on, EA, quit fucking with me. Come on, three losses in a row? Are you kidding, guys? Wake the fuck up. Unbelievable. That pisses me off. We're first in the league still, but come on. Come on! Only one of those was in overtime. <sighs> okay, so Bowles, wow. Bowles has got to 31 goals now. Unbelievable. He had 10 goals in that month. That's a huge number for him. 
Uh, McKinnon and Mantha are both up there uh, for assists. Points, we got Ovechkin and McKinnon. That is it. Uh, save percentage, we're not up there. Goals against average, we are at 7th. That doesn't much matter. We'll do one. We'll, well, it's a trade deadline now. You know what? I'm going to cut the video off there. You guys let me know what you think I should do. Should I be doing the trade deadline? Or should I or should I be doing anything at the trade deadline? I don't think so. We're at 96 points right now. We're first in the NHL. We're, look to po we're poised to take another President's Trophy victory this year, guys. Another one. So you guys let me know what you think we should do. I feel like everybody's doing really well. I don't think we need to make any moves, but uh, you guys let me know. Until next time, guys, I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.